रेफरेंस फ्रेम मैंने सिर्फ इसलिए चेंज किया था कि आपको एक आइडिया दे सकूं कि कब रस्सी में वापस टेंशन आ जाएगा हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम मैकेनिक्स के इस कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन को करेंगे क्वेश्चन में ऐसा कहा गया कि एक स्मूथ हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस है इस स्मूथ हॉरिजॉन्टल फ्लोर के ऊपर दो पार्टिकल हैं इक्वल मास के दो छोटे बॉल हैं दोनों का मास एम है एंड दे आर कनेक्टेड बाय ए स्ट्रिंग ऑफ सम लेंथ एल द स्ट्रिंग इज हेल्ड टॉट इट इज जस्ट टॉट एंड एट दैट इंस्टेंट द टू पार्टिकल्स आर गिवन वेलोसिटीज वी एंड वी इन द डायरेक्शन इंडिकेटेड दिस पार्टिकल इज प्रोजेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द अदर वन वेर एज दिस वन इज गिवेन ए वेलॉसिटी दैट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द इनिशियल ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग तो दोनों पार्टिकल एक स्मूथ फ्लोर के ऊपर है इसको वी वेलॉसिटी आपने अचानक से इधर दिया इसको स्ट्रिंग की लेंथ के परपेंडिकुलर दिया एंड बोथ द वेलॉसिटीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट साइमल्टेनियसली एंड द स्ट्रिंग इज इनिशियली टॉट सो जस्ट आफ्टर you give uh, you impart velocity to the two particles you can visualize that a string will become loose after some point in time later at a later time the string will again become taut the question asks find the kinetic energy of the system after the string becomes taut again so uh, this is not a very difficult question and this does not require a lot of calculation as well this only requires sound conceptual understanding so all of you please give it a try and thereafter you can go through the solution that i am doing right after this but please do not forget to like the video and share with as many friends as you can please do this ah uh, for to some of you the question might appear a bit confusing uh, you are not able to actually judge when will the string again become taut uh, this may not be true for all of you but for many of you this will definitely be true that you are not able to judge uh, when the string will become taut again so the whole reason behind the confusion is that we are having two objects which are moving so the best strategy could be to observe the motion of one object in the reference frame of the other object like start thinking what an observer situated on this ball will see as far as motion of this object is concerned let us assume this is particle number 1 and this is particle number 2 what i am saying is uh, if you think like this that there is an observer on particle number 1 and he or she is observing the motion of particle number 2 so what will be the initial velocity of particle number 2 as seen by the observer who is located on particle number 1 obviously in physics we call this as velocity of two relative to one this observer will see that this particular object is moving with a velocity which is written as v21 and which is calculated as v2 minus v1 what is meaning of v2 minus v1 it is nothing but v2 plus minus v1 now what is, what exactly is v2 here v2 is velocity of this ball in the ground reference frame what is v1 here v1 is the velocity of this ball in the ground reference frame which means if uh, an observer is there on the reference frame of the floor then she will find that these two balls are initially moving like this that was given in the question we are thinking that uh, what will be velocity of this ball uh, for an observer who is situated on this particular ball so think of a small insect sitting on ball 
that particular insect will see that ball 2 is having an initial velocity given by this. So, what is v 2 minus v 1? It is very easy to find. You have to add minus v 1 vector to v 2. So, this v 2 you can draw a separate diagram also I am doing it here only. This v 2 and this minus v 1 minus of v 1 right this is v 2 vector and this is minus of v 1 vector. You add them and what you get is v 2 plus minus v 1 that is v 2 minus v 1. So, this velocity of 2 with respect to 1 this velocity of ball 2 with respect to ball 1 obviously, because magnitude of v 2 and v 1 are same one can easily understand that this angle will be 45 degree. Now, what does this uh, and the magnitude can also be calculated this magnitude will be root 2 v I guess all of you understand this under root v square plus v square. So, this vector is directed at an angle of 45 degree with this original uh, position of the string and its magnitude is root 2 v right this is what we conclude, but so what how is it going to help uh, solve this question yes it is going to help solve this question. <laughs> it actually means that this fellow this particular observer will find herself to be at rest and she will see that this ball is traveling along this blue line with a velocity of uh, root 2 v and this velocity will remain constant because the string is loose and if the string is loose there is no tension the string is not exerting any force on either of the particles. So, there is no question of any acceleration of the particles. So, what this observer will see is this particular observer will find herself to be at rest ok she is at rest and she will find that the other ball the other object is moving with constant velocity making an angle of 45 degree like this is not it. So, just allow me to rub this off. Uh, it is very easy to understand because this angle is 45 degree. So, this string will become taut that means, it will again regain tension only when separation between these two particles becomes L. So, when this for this reference frame the reference frame uh, of this ball the observer is located on this ball c finds that this ball is moving like this when this ball is here here or here the string is loose this distance is less than l only when this ball reaches here it is easy to guess this angle is 90 degree at this instant this ball is traveling in this direction with a velocity of root 2 v uh, this is what this observer is observing right we are in the reference frame of this ball so, for this observer this ball keeps moving like this keeps moving like this keeps moving like this with constant velocity and once it reaches here thereafter uh, there will be a tension in this string this there will be a sudden gain of tension in this string because uh, at this very instant the separation between these two particles again becomes L. So, when the separation becomes L uh, just after that the separation will try to become larger than L. If this particle is still allowed to move along this line, then separation will become larger than L, which cannot happen because the string is inextensible. So, the string is going to jerk both the particles and uh, uh, it will not allow um, the length of the string to increase in fact. So, the, the string will again become taut when this particle reaches this position, right. I think I am making myself clear. Now, just after the string is taught what is the kinetic energy of the system that is the question. So, this is the situation just before the string is taught in the reference frame of this particle this is moving with a velocity of root 2 v like this. This ball is here and this ball is here. But what is the situation in the ground reference frame right now? Uh, in the reference frame of the ground for an observer who is located on the floor, what does he or she see actually? He or she will find that, okay, 
these two particles are separated by some distance l mind you from the start to this very moment this particle has not experienced any force shuruaat se leke abhi tak this particle has not experienced any force because the spring was loose this particle was moving and the spring was loose this is when the particle is here in this reference frame the string is loose so the string was not taut means the string was not applying force on any of the particles so this particle in the ground frame will continue to move with its original velocity p and what about that one what about that one in the ground frame that particle will also continue to move with its original velocity v so in the ground reference frame just before the string gains tension this is the situation i hope all of you are understand maine is reference frame ka zikr sirf isliye kiya ki aapko aasani se ye samajh mein aa jaye ki jab dono particle ke beech ki duri starting mein l thi aur fir thodi der ke baad jab l hogi to situation kaisi hogi kab hogi hai नेचुरली आप समझ सकते हैं इस रेफरेंस फ्रेम में बिकॉज ये पार्टिकल मूव नहीं कर रहा है एक ही ऑब्जेक्ट मूव कर रहा है तो समझना बड़ा आसान था कि भाई इस रेफरेंस फ्रेम में ये रेस्ट में है और ये चीज रूट टू वी वेलोसिटी से इधर चल रही है बट वापस ग्राउंड फ्रेम में आते हैं तो ये चीज तो अभी तक वी वेलॉसिटी से ओरिजिनली जैसे फेंका गया था वैसे ही चल रही इसके रेस्पेक्ट में इसकी वेलॉसिटी रूट टू वी है बेसिकली अगर आपने यहाँ पे ध्यान दिया हो तो अच्छा मैंने मिटा दिया इसकी ग्राउंड फ्रेम में वेलोसिटी जो थी वो वी इस डायरेक्शन में थी इसकी इस डायरेक्शन में थी इसके रेस्पेक्ट में इसकी वेलोसिटी ये थी पर अगर हम ग्राउंड फ्रेम में वापस आते हैं तो हमें यही तो दिखेगा और कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता इसके अलावा ये रेफरेंस फ्रेम मैंने सिर्फ इसलिए चेंज किया था कि आपको एक आइडिया दे सकूँ कि कब रस्सी में वापस टेंशन आ जाएगा कैसे बीच में रस्सी ढीली हो जाएगी फिर टेंशन आ जाए ये समझने के लिए वापस ग्राउंड फ्रेम में आ जाइए तो ग्राउंड फ्रेम में यही सिचुएशन होगी इट कैन नॉट बी डिफरेंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पार्टिकल इज हैविंग अ वेलोसिटी वी इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड दिस विल हैव अ वेलोसिटी वी इन हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन इजंट इट एंड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस पार्टिकल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस पार्टिकल देयर इज वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस पार्टिकल द अदर पार्टिकल वाज लोकेटेड to the right in this diagram let us say ya yeah, isko east direction maan lo to iske respect mein east mein tha when the string will become taut again with respect to this particle this particle will be somewhere towards north that is also very important so originally ground reference frame mein uh, aapne dekha tha ye particle yahan aur ye particle yahan ye ye particle iske east mein tha to ho sakta hai ki jab string taut hui तो इसके रेस्पेक्ट में ये पार्टिकल नॉर्थ में हो नॉर्थ साउथ डिपेंड करता है कि डायरेक्शन क्या है बट परपेंडिकुलर होगा द फाइनल पोजीशन ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग विल बी परपेंडिकुलर टू द ओरिजिनल पोजीशन ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ इफ यू अप्लाई मोमेंटम कंजर्वेशन दरिजिनल लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग लेट इट बी एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड फाइनल आई एम कॉलिंग दिस एज फाइनल पोजिशन वेन द स्ट्रिंग इज जस्ट अबाउट टू गेट टॉट Uh, let this be y direction. So if you apply momentum conservation in x and y direction, this is the situation just before the string is taut. And the moment there is tension in the string, what will happen? अब यहाँ पे एक झटका लगने वाला है झटका लगने से इसके तुरंत बाद झटका लगेगा string में tension आए क्या होगा झटका लगने से गौर से देखिए ये string की length के along ये स्ट्रिंग की लेंथ के अलॉन्ग इन दोनों पार्टिकल्स की वेलोसिटी सेम हो जाएगी वाई डायरेक्शन में अगर आप मोमेंटम कंजर्वेशन अप्लाई करेंगे तो आप आसानी से देख पाएंगे कि इन दोनों की वेलोसिटी वाई डायरेक्शन में वी वाई टू हो जाएगी बिकॉज अभी स्ट्रिंग में टेंशन नहीं है जस्ट आने वाला है खड़ा एक झटका लगा स्ट्रिंग ने एक इम्पल्स लगाया इसको ऊपर की तरफ खींचा स्ट्रिंग ने इस पर इम्पल्स लगाया खड़ा नीचे की तरफ खींचा यही तो टेंशन आया इसकी वेलासिटी घट गई इसकी इस डायरेक्शन में वेलासिटी थी नहीं जो आ गई अब बिकॉज स्ट्रिंग इन एक्सटेंसिबल है तो नेचुरल सी बात है कि इन दोनों पार्टिकल की वेलोसिटी जस्ट आफ्टर द स्ट्रिंग गेट्स टॉट 
is direction along the length of the string will be same. So, momentum conservation in this direction is straight away tells you because these two masses are equal this will be v by 2 and this will be v by 2 and what about horizontal direction the string it is a string it is not a rod. So, string cannot apply any lateral force this is string cannot apply force on this particle in this direction that is just not possible. So, what is going to happen this particle will see that there is no change in its velocity as far as this direction is concerned. So, this particle will keep moving in this direction with velocity v. Momentum remains conserved in x direction also m v in y direction also the momentum is m v. So, this will be the situation just after the string gets taught. I hope all of you do understand this. Now, you can easily write the kinetic energy half m v by 2 whole square and this particle has a resultant velocity of this. So, I am writing it here for the particle which is here this is the kinetic energy and for this particular particle the kinetic energy will be this one because it is actual speed will be under root v square plus v by 2 whole square. So, students I hope you have understood this question and you have thoroughly enjoyed the concept. Uh, keep this in mind and try to rewind everything so that it gets permanently imprinted in your mind. So, thank you for watching this video. I uh, will come back very soon with a new video with a new problem. Goodbye.